Hello everyone, my name is Regan and today I'm sitting my first HSC exam. Now actually this entire video is going to be my entire HSC exam experience, which for me lasts three weeks. I know, I'm quite lucky. Actually, let me tell you what my schedule is. So today is Wednesday the 12th. Today is Wednesday the 12th of October. So I have English today and then tomorrow I have the second English exam. The second English exam and then on Friday I have modern history so it's like my three worst exams back to back which is really fun I love that um, and then I have a week off I have no exams the second week and then in the third week I have business on the Tuesday and biology on the Friday yeah and then I have nothing the fourth week so I have a three-week HSC period which is great you're probably thinking Regan that's not enough subjects to get an ATAR um, I did drama a year early, so I have done the HSC before. Not the whole HSC, but I have I have sat an HSC exam before. Fun fact, I actually memorised my student number, even though you don't have to, because they literally give it to you on a piece of paper. Like, I was in the library, like, memorising my quotes for my plays, and then also memorising my student number, which I oh, did not need to do that. Now, another thing I didn't bring to that other exam is a clear water bottle. Even though I still used my other water bottle, I don't think they were very onto it last year. Um, but I can't use my regular water bottle. Speaking of, I'm a bit thirsty. Refreshing. But I need a clear water bottle. But I'll bring this one. And other than that, I'm going to say bye because I'm going to throw myself a dance party to make me feel happy. I'm not actually that stressed. Like, I'm surprisingly not stressed. English is really not down to what I know. It's whatever comes out. So, there's not much I can do about it. I, mean, I know my quotes. It's all I can do. Alright, so the exam's over. Uh, it finished actually a little bit ago, but you know, I had to travel home and then I sat on TikTok for a little bit and ate some chocolate as you do. That exam wasn't that bad. I was just quite stressed about time management actually. Usually my time management is management? Management. Usually my time management isn't something that I struggle with at all. But I mean I didn't really struggle either, but you know, I like I was like, oh I'm gonna try to do the first section in 40 minutes. It's an hour and a half exam. Try to do the first section in 40 minutes so I have 50 minutes to write the essay. Um, but I actually took 50, a little bit over 50 minutes to do the short response. I did still finish with a bit of time, like a minute, um, to go back and check over things and stuff. But yeah, like I know I did as well as I could have, but I, I just kind of know that like I'm not, like my essay writing style just is not the best for English. And I mean at the end of the day it's not going to really matter. So it's like, I don't know, I just kind of feel a little sad. <laughs> Which is odd because I actually, like... I understood everything that was there. The question was broad enough for me to, you, you know, write whatever I wanted. It was fine. Yo! Although it said pros, like that threw me off. It said pros features, so I was kind of like, what What was that? But then I went, oh, okay, but I, d I don't know if I incorporated that as much as I should have. Because they, ugh, I don't really know. All right, it is Tuesday the, what's it, 13th? No, it's not Tuesday, it's Thursday. It's Thursday the 13th of October. I have my second English paper today. Fun fact. Last night, um, my cat was not walking properly. She got very dehydrated, so I was at the vet for three hours last night. So that was really fun. Um, luckily, I did memorize all my quotes before, so that's fine. But, like, you know, apparently she, she's doing all right this morning. She was just very dehydrated, so they got her on, a, on fluids or something. Apparently, she's perked up a bit this morning. So that's good, but yeah, I'm about to leave to go to school. Also, I'd like to mention, because I didn't really talk about the paper yesterday. Let's put you up somewhere, except you're on my bed, so everything is wobbly. I feel like I need to talk about the paper yesterday, um, and about the staples. So I've, <laughs> I made a TikTok about the staples too, but I didn't realise that that was wrong. But they told, because my lady told us to rip it in half, but then it ripped in the wrong place for me, so I had about four different papers, like... I had too many because it ripped in half, so it was a struggle, um, but that happened. I actually liked the photo of the girl on the bike, but it's so funny because everyone now found that photo on Instagram and is like, why are you working with the enemy? Or oh, that's it's so funny. Anyway, um, not going to be so funny today. Three essays. God knows what Mod C is. God knows what Mod C is, and I'm really concerned. Mod C is where you write whatever you want. Not write whatever you want, but they'll give you... What happens if they say persuasive? I saw something, oh my god, the HSC discussion group chat is so funny, so funny. I saw someone say that you should go into your why we should ban homework persuasive that you wrote for like NAP plan and like year three, and I was like, that is really smart. So I might do that. 
Uh, but yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I haven't tried to memorize my quotes this morning. Like I haven't gone back and gone over them. I'm assuming I know them. Just in my head, I've got a feeling I know it. And look, the biggest issue for me today is that I have to go and study for modern history and I hate modern history after this because modern's tomorrow. All right, we're back with the bed angle today. I'm actually so tired. Um, I went to the library, but then figured I like I literally couldn't put anything in my brain. So I think I'm just gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning. I don't really want to study tomorrow morning. I think I'm just gonna go over some quotes. That's what I'm kind of vibing. But um, let's talk about paper two. No reflection. There was no reflection, and I've never been happier in my life. What happens is you have to write about you have to write about something that gives you your own like piece, and then you have to do a reflection on that. And they've been telling us, oh, it's usually ten and ten, but it might be that. No reflection. They put a random common module question in in front of it. And that, that was so odd. Like, that was a curveball, but not a bad curveball. It was a good curveball. Because I can't write reflections to save my life. But other than that, all the questions, again, quite broad. So they were all fine. But yeah, I'm happy English is over. I'll be happier tomorrow when modern's over. I'm going to be excited when I get a week to do nothing. And I really, like, need to sleep. Because yesterday I didn't get time to really relax because my cat... So, that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, welcome to HSC Day 3, everyone. Um, still upset at whoever decided modern history needs to be the day after both English exams. Um, but at the same time, kind of happy that it's going to be over with and then I never have to do this crap again. Modern history is my worst exam. There is no question about that. There's just too much content to remember, which is stupid because you only get asked essays on like a teeny tiny bit of it. You know, at least... I remember when I did drama and English and stuff, you have to learn everything that's in that in order for it to make sense in the context of the question. Like, in order to answer my question on T.S. Eliot, I had to know all the themes that are evident in his poetry. It all had to work together. Whereas I feel like modern history, they're literally asking me about one thing about the Cold War, the entire Cold War. They're asking me one thing. So I need to know everything well enough me to write one essay about one thing like it's so stupid um but as far as I'm aware no one's prepared my bestie Bailey she also doesn't know what she's doing she knows she definitely knows more than I do that's for sure we went to the library last night she's more into it than I am um she also cares more than I do so I'm sure that has a large role to play in it um I read over some notes this morning and that's about all of the studying I did because honestly I get more stressed out when I try study the morning of an afternoon exam. Who decided also? Who decided that we're going from 2 till 5 p.m.? What a genius did that one. I don't want to be writing at 5 p.m. Like, that's seriously evil. Seriously evil. Yep, yeah, that's good enough. Alright. I'm going to be so happy when this is over with. I've also now thrown out all of my English flashcards. That's nice. Can't wait to throw out of my modern card. Throw out... Can I English today? Don't need to anymore. Can't wait until this section of my room. I'll just show you. This is where I keep all of my school stuff. Well, the entire room is like messy as because you don't have time to clean your room in the middle of the HSC. Although I'm totally not stressed with the HSC, I will continue to use it as an excuse as to why I can't do things. I'm like, mom, I can't do any chores. I've got my HSC, like all that. Usually I'd be freaking out for modern history. I'm more just annoyed that I have to do it rather than scared. Like, I just have not felt fear once. Um, and it's totally not that I know everything because I don't. I'm not a genius. I, you, there are some things that I definitely don't want to question on. So it's not that I'm like super overly prepared. I just don't care anymore like like i at this moment in time i see zero point in stressing myself out and if that means that i'm not going to freak out about the fact that i don't know the soviet foreign policy then that's okay guys i'm i'm so happy right now i've i like literally the joy that i've got walking out of that exam is like unbelievable i can't i like can't even put it into words how excited i am I just, I feel so relieved. The exam itself was fine. The questions were all answerable and that's all that matters. I put in a couple statistics, fudged a couple dates, but look, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be so happy to go to bed tonight and sleep in tomorrow morning and just be happy. And I'm not even done yet. But honestly, I don't think I can get, like, I feel like I'm done because that is over with. All right, good morning, everyone. It is... 25th. It's the Tuesday of the third week 
of the HSC and I have my business studies exam this morning. I made my, oh, I should probably get my pay. What I was saying is I made myself an omelet because this is, a, you know, three, this is a three hour exam. So I don't get out till 12. Which means I'm gonna be starving. This is actually my only morning three hour exam. Is it 100% necessary? All of my other three hour exams are in the afternoon, which is stupid because I go to five, but like at least I'd eat like a big lunch. I don't usually eat a massive breakfast, but I made myself an omelette so that I don't starve in the middle of the exam. Look, again, I've said this every day, I'm not that stressed. Business is probably the one I'll stress the most for though, because it's the one that I like actually did quite well in. So, you know, pressure. But I feel like I know everything. So much of business studies you can like pull out of your ass as long as you like use the right syllabus terms. And, like I know the right essay structure and all that, so I'm just gonna go and give my best shot. Hopefully they don't ask me anything too obscure. But Nessa gods have been on our side recently. Also, the key to not stressing in the exam, I also figured out. Don't get to school that early. Don't go in the morning and study with your friends. It's not gonna ha do anything for you. Obviously, do get there early enough to sit your exam. I don't need to be going over flashcards right before. So. Hopefully, like, since I'm so relaxed, I'll just do better. But, yeah, I don't know. To be honest, I actually have no clue what ATAR I'm gonna get. Cause I feel like I'm not doing as much work as everybody else, but then also at the end of the day, does my ATAR really matter? Another news, this is my second last exam. So that's really fun. I've got one more, which is biology on Friday. I'm actually very happy with my exam timetable. I don't think I would have wanted them any closer together, but I also wouldn't have wanted to have anything in the fourth week. I need a little holiday, especially because all of my friends have like exams in the last couple days. It's like dance is in the last week and what else? VA. A lot of them do dance VA and um, PDH. Honestly, HSC hasn't been that bad. Watch, I'll like come home crying at some point. No, we're not putting that out. We're not putting it out into the universe today. Also, don't mind this. I have a pimple right there and I can't like, I like I don't get it. Like I've tried drying it out and everything, but it's just not working. Business is done. Um, That was... I'm getting quite a good exam. Uh, like I knew everything, it was all good. I had my case studies, like that was the stuff I thought it was gonna be on, if that makes sense. However, I did not answer one question. I know, oh my goodness, like, um, but it was a finance question, it was a ratio. Like I knew how to do the ratio, but I didn't know how to find one part that I needed for the ratio, and it was one mark. So I was like, look, that's fine. We're just gonna not do that to move on to the next thing. One mark is not gonna kill me off, you know. So. Other than that, it was good. The second half of that exam, I've never actually needed to pee so bad in my entire life. It was horrible. Um, because the problem is, is, you're allowed to pee in the HSC. Just, if you weren't aware, because I didn't know this until, I don't know, like a couple months ago. You can go to the bathroom in the HSC, um, but, you know, it wastes your time. And so, I, um, would needed to be so bad, but I absolutely did not have the time for it. Other than that, it went fine. Okay, I actually completely forgot. Like I literally spent this morning, this morning, this morning editing the video and then forgot that I actually needed to film today's portion. Um, so it's Friday the 28th and I have my biology exam, my last exam today. I literally just can't wait for it to be over. Like I'm excited for it to be done. Yeah, it's been a really chill day. Also, my hair has gone really curly. So I'm really happy about that. That's completely unrelated though. Yeah, like in the next three hours, I'm gonna be a free woman. How exciting is that? Anyway, I've gotta go. Guys, I'm done. I'm the, I'm done. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't even have any words. Like the exam was fine. I actually went to the bathroom this time. I know. Um, but it was great. And I've done the HSC. So surprisingly, wasn't that stressed? for the entire three weeks. But I will talk about that later in a different video. Um, but look, I just wanna like go sit down, enjoy my time, take a shower, have a cup of tea. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you hadn't already. And I will see you on next week. Bye everyone.